At the same time, Zimbabwe's government says it will be introducing more policies to empower local producers. The Trade and Commerce Ministry is planning to build on the success of its statutory instrument 64. Now, that did help local producers increase their exports, but it also saw the removal of 43 imported products from the shelves. A 2016 survey shows that uh, there's been an increase in capacity utilization. It's gone up from about 34.3% in 2015 to 47%. Zimbabwe's government now plans to amend at least 16 export regulations, all designed to improve the ease of doing business. That project is expected to address things like the high cost of production, complex and burdensome procedures for doing business, limited access to affordable long-term trade finance, and the centralization of agencies in major cities. SI64 is here to stay. We, we believe our companies require support and what we want to do is to do more in terms of giving that support or buttressing that particular uh, initiative in terms of uh, soliciting the funding that they need to retool and re-equip but also monitoring the activities of some of the companies that might want really to capitalize on this support by increasing prices.